East High Health Kids, what's up? Uh, it is Monday, the 13th of April. You guys celebrate Easter. I hope you had a happy Easter and you did so uh, with as many people as you could safely, right? Um, today we're doing uh, challenge two of the unit three assessment. Um, I'm gonna get right into it. It's gonna be a quick video. Uh, same thing as the first one. I'm gonna take you through the scenario. You answer it the best as you can. I got a lot of good responses on it uh, that I just graded. Uh, grades are updated as 100% too, so I'm staying on top of those things from home. Um, one thing that I will add about the grades and about the work that you do, uh, make sure that you guys are submitting the work to me in classroom. So when you're working on something, you should see in the upper right hand corner, it says turn in to teacher. Make sure you turn that in. Um, Cause I know some people have done some work and then not click that, not turn that in. And then I'm not grading it because I don't have it as um, turned into me. I can go through and try and find all those assignments, but that would take me forever. You got to think about, I have, um, all these different assignments and a uh, hundred health students and uh, 60 optics students that I got to go through and try and find work on. So got to turn it into me. All right, let's get right into it. I'm going to share the screen. We're going to go to virtual health unit three assessment challenge two. First question gives you a situation or a scenario. Your friend has never thought much or talked to anyone about sexual health before now since he or she has never had sex. Your friend doesn't get regular checkups, but lately has started to wonder about some things that are going on in his or her body and ask you for advice. So what you have to do, give your friend at least two reasons why it is important to get regular checkups exams and vaccines to maintain sexual health. Think about the things we talk about. Think about how when you are sexually active, what's the number one symptom of an STD? No symptom, right? The only way to know that if you pick something up and you've been sexually active is that you go and get checked. Um, so think of things like that and you, you're, we're pulling on information from this entire unit of study. Next question. Why is it important for your friend to talk to his or her parents or another trusted adult about these or any sexual health issues? Hmm, think about that. Why is it important to talk to someone that has knowledge about this stuff, maybe has some experience about it? The next one, your friend asks if he or she can just look up information in magazines or online. Suggest at least three reliable resources where your friend can get accurate information about sexual health. This, is going to require you to do a little research. You're going to have to go on the interwebs. You're going to have to search up uh, places, magazines, maybe some articles or websites that the person can visit to get good, solid, accurate information. I'm not talking about TMZ, right? I'm talking about reliable and Facebook. Terrible. There's so much misinformation on Facebook. I want places that those people can go. So it could be a local agency that you could find with phone numbers, give them that phone number, right? Planned Parenthood's a big one in the Rochester area. They get a lot of negative publicity because people think for some reason that abortions happen in Planned Parenthood centers. That's not, that's not true. Abortions happen in doctor's offices. Planned Parenthood gives people resources to, to get them help if they've had or deal with any unintended pregnancies things that arise. Uh, explain, so the next part says, explain how someone would know the resources are reliable. How do you know that that resource is reliable? What are some things to look for so that you know they're reliable? How do I know this person's an expert? How do I know that they're talking about things that they actually know about and they've done research on? You gotta tell me. Figure that out. And then the last part, suggest at least two things that your friend can do to take personal responsibility for his or her sexual health. Hmm. 
Now there's three spots there. Um, some people may think of uh, a third one. Uh, if you list three and only two are right, you get 100%. If you list only two and one of those are wrong, you don't get full credit, right? That's why I give you a third spot. So how can someone your age take personal responsibility for your own sexual health? Think about that. What have we talked about? What do you need to do? And throughout this whole year of study, we have always come back to the personal responsibility that you all need to take for your health in any area of health, right? This just happens to be sexual health. That's it. Short video. Ooh, I'm going to have a bonus question. I'm going to put it on here. Uh, I'm wearing a shirt right now from my favorite movie. Well, it's from my favorite movie. This says Prestige Worldwide. Uh, bonus points to whoever can come up with the name of the movie, which is Mr. Eckert's favorite movie of all time. Uh, that's going to be the last question. So uh, good luck. And I will talk to you all soon i hope you're enjoying my videos they're probably the best out of all your teachers i know i'm the best thank you bye